Let me know when I was actually in the middle of filming this and then my battery died. But hey, I'm back with another Tubes Tumblr and this is the final one of the year. This has been a fun series and I'm going to continue doing it and I'm also going to be bringing back an old series called Flashback Friday because I started watching a lot of old cartoons lately and uh, yeah, I feel like I need to talk about it. Especially one in particular that is just like, wow. Anyway, now the first thing I want to show you is some tweets from the rapper Mac Miller. Now I'll be honest, I really don't listen to Mac Miller that much, but I have heard him spit before. He's got bars, and he's definitely got a great flow. And then my phone just went off. What is that? It's nothing. Anyway, here's what the tweets say. Dear white people who listen to rap music, what have you done for the Black Lives Matter movement? Just don't forget about the ridiculously large amount of humans who are down for Donald Trump to be president. There's work to do. Just please don't let that motherfucker, man. Also, white people, reverse racism isn't real. Racism describes a system built to keep a race or ethnicity away from success and evolution. We are all not the same. We are all different, different cultures, and all of them are beautiful. The whole everybody's the same thing is weak. He is basically saying the same thing I say a lot. But he's got a bigger platform, so a lot of people, a lot more people will probably listen, thankfully. But most importantly, this nigga gets it. All honesty, I really hate it when people say some shit like, we are all one race, the human race. Yes, and the human race is a lot of different fucking people. We're all different. We're not all the same. If we were all the same, then we would all be treated the same. And all these movements would not be even happening. Therefore, yeah, there's a certain thing here. So a survey was taken on Facebook and the results of it were posted on Tumblr. The survey was for grapplers and participants of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What is the most reliable and most efficient submission in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? The number one, which I'm actually surprised about, is the triangle choke from guard. Number two is the arm bar from mount. Then number three goes to Kimura from guard. And as we go on, we get Kimura from side mount, arm bar from guard, rear naked choke from rear mount, arm triangle from side mount, Americana arm lap from side mount, bow and arrow choke from rear naked from rear mount, north south choke from north south position, of course, arm bar from side mount, and guillotine from guard. To basically summarize that, a few more people are more for getting a joint than putting it to sleep. But it's still pretty equal, so there's definitely still saying for the tap, snap, or nap options. Now there was a lot of police brutality and police killings in 2015, especially on the black community, from Tim R. Rice to Eric Gardner to Sandra Bland, who we still have no fucking clue what the hell happened to her. All those cases and many, many more really beg the question, how much has this happened? And how much has this been happening? There's actually a website dedicated to this in the links down below called killbypolice.net that shows all the victims of police killings. The last time I looked at it was about uh, 1,175 people of all different races being killed by police. But what I wanted to do now was take a look at this chart. This chart basically shows the killings by America's largest police departments in 2015, starting from January 1st to December 15th, 2015. Showing the rates of police killings per million people by police departments in the 60 largest U.S. cities. At the number one spot is Baskerville with 13.6 million, along with many other cities such as Nashville, Kansas City, Atlanta, Baltimore, Columbus, Memphis, dang it, Memphis, 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 dang it, all the way down to New York, Philadelphia, and Riverside. The ones with this red triangle on the other hand, you see that over there? That one that looks like a weird warning signal? The cities with that beside it are the ones where 100% of people killed by the police department were black. These cities being St. Louis, I need to call my uncle, Atlanta, I need to call my god sister, Kansas City, Cleveland, Baltimore, Virginia Beach, Boston, Washington DC, need to call my other god sister, Minneapolis, Raleigh, Milwaukee, Detroit, Philadelphia, and Charlotte Mecklenburg. All 14 of these cities are the ones where all the victims were black people. The one being in the number one spot being St. Louis with 9.5 million. Now some people will probably argue that, well, police are getting killed too. Yes, well, you do see videos of some people in the Black Lives Matter movement demanding that these officers be sentenced to death or things like that. One, that's just talk. Uh, it's not like any of them actually went out and did it, like they're the KKK or some shit. And two, police killing, police being killed in the line of duty is actually on a decline. This chart shows the police officers that have been killed in the line of duty. The red line shows the number of officers killed in a year, and the blue line represents the 10 year average. Now while we see it going up from 1970s all the way up into about the 80s, it's on a decline ever since from then. 
Let me also note that this isn't in like the thousands or the millions. This is total. Meaning in 2015, there were only about 50 cops that were actually killed in the line of duty. I'll put a link to where I got that chart from in the description down below along with any other things that you might want to know. Now there's a user on Tumblr called USA Problems where they list off a bunch of things wrong with the US. And there is a lot. One of those things being people that complain about uh, college kids wanting free education. This reblog from a follower of mine and a person I also follow, Sanjay Pishan. Obama came out with the process of free tuition plan that will cost the taxpayers $80 million over the course of 10 years. I'm really sick of this. If you want to go to college, pay for it yourself. First of all, most of the people that want to go to college are high school graduates, and you can't really pay for college on a minimum wage job, so yeah. Second, um, uh, you know what, I'm gonna let the person that responded to this go to it. That's about, that's about the cost of the eight months of war in Iraq. You know what, I could probably just leave it there. All honesty. No, 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 I'm a, uh, it just gets better. It's amazing how $80 billion is worth mentioning when it's about killing people, but it's suddenly a huge horrifying barrier when it comes to improving lives. I don't mind paying for free college, it would be one of the good things my taxes would be going towards. Cause it sure ain't going to infrastructure or schools at that rate. Is this number supposed to scare me? 80 billion dollars over 10 years? So that's 8 billion dollars per year divided by the total number of taxpayers in America. In 2013 there was 242 million. So going on that number it would only cost the average American taxpayer 33 dollars per year. Wow, so scary. How horrible to spend $33. This is what a dinner and a soda at a mediocre sit-down restaurant. I'd spare it. Yep. Yep. I'm also glad he did all that math. Yeah, just to really break it down to him. Seriously, it's 33 bucks a year. People are really willing to put that much money up when it comes to the military going to another fucking country, but not when it comes to actually improving America. But all honesty, anybody that refers to themselves as a taxpayer is automatically an asshole or is about to be an asshole. Hold on for one moment. Do you realize how much I would have to put away a month? I mean, $33 a year that I could be using on anything else? Seriously? Do you realize how much that's a month? Yeah, I know how much that will be per month. That's two seventy five a fucking month. Are you seriously that cheap or something? Like what? What's up? Oh wait, two seventy five per month? Oh, can you prove that? Okay, let me break that down for you then. Thirty three dollars a year over the course of twelve months. How much is that per month? Okay, thirty three divided by twelve. Twelve goes into thirty three two times. Two times twelve is twenty four. 33 minus 24 is 9. So now you bring down a 0. Now 12 goes into 90 7 times. 12 times 7 is 84. 90 minus 84 is 6. Now bring down another 0. 12 goes into 60 5 times. 5 times 12 is 60. 0. How much do you left with? 275. And yes, I can do that math in my head and explain it. Well, if it really is that much, then I guess I can't put it away. Now please leave my room. In this, I'm gonna read off a post called 2015 in a nutshell. The poster, facade of happiness, explains, well, basically says everything that ended, everything that basically happened in 2015. Left Shark, Iggy tried to freestyle, Australia got Netflix, Netflix and chill, Zane left one direction, that one vine with the African vi African guy going, okay. Chris Drake, sure, Dan, these nuts, Kylie Jenner lip challenge, the other don't judge challenge. Just do it. Caitlyn Jenner, fucking Donald Trump, Vegemite chocolate. What in the world is that? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. You lying so much. You making it hard for me. Fucking me. Everyone asked Siri what zero divided by zero is, and she destroyed them. Now watch me whip. What's good? Miley, what's good? Not what's good, Miley. Miley, what's good? That's how it goes. Anyway, Kanye was running for president in 2020. What are those? The Snapchat update, Poot Lovato. Tony Ablett finally is gone. Drake and his dancing in Hotline Bling became a new name. Mm, what you say? 
Uptown Funk, Adele smashing Taylor Swift into water with Hello. Everyone likes Justin Bieber's new music. I still don't like it. I'm sorry, I just don't like his voice. <laughs> Saint West, which is Kanye's new child. Jesus Christ, can you think of anything better, any better names for these kids? Anyway, that dress that nobody could tell the color of. Why you gotta bring up that damn dress? And the wrong Miss Universe was crowned. Yep, that's pretty thorough. Anyway, that's all for Tubes Tumblr today. Um, I will see y'all next time. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy 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 Holidays, and Happy New Year. Good, 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 Bye. Centuries here and you're invited to the fair and guess what I'm your tool